Well, I was thinking about naming this video something ironic like YouTube fought the law and the law won or something like that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to name the video yet. Uh, essentially, um, when YouTube uh, gave me two strikes wrongfully, uh, I was livid. And uh, usually I go off on a tangent, as I do often here, and uh, I just wasn't going to have it this time. So what I did was I tried contacting them by appeals first, that didn't work, phone, that didn't work. By the way, don't try contacting YouTube by phone, you will just get a run around and disconnect it and things like that. Uh, I tried contacting them by uh uh, a special kind of appeal that you can get to if you browse YouTube and stuff. Uh, I tried contacting them directly by support. I tried contacting them on the forum. Uh, I tried every which means you could think of. I don't know which one exactly got through, but it managed to, I guess. Uh, and I was actually discussing with lawyers about suing YouTube. Uh, in fact, I could name the lawyer, but I'm not going to. Uh, the, it suffice to say that I was very serious about this. This is my career. This is my job. I do this to make YouTube and by extension Google money. Maybe not a whole lot of money. Maybe I'm not quite as popular as say Mr. Rep Zion, but I do this to make them money. And they should stand back and let me do my job. And that's just the way I explained it. I do not need them to moderate me. I'm perfectly capable of moderating my own content to the extent I need to for the law, but not for their own personal opinions. Whatever personal opinions the moderators have, they need to keep it to themselves, because I'm not one of their member base. I'm a partner. And you might treat the member base like that, but you're not going to treat a partner like that. If you ask me, you shouldn't even treat the member base like that. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm in this, I'm in the business. I am part of the YouTube institution. I'm not just some guy posting his opinions anymore. I am actually part of this corporation and I will be treated with some respect. And I just said that directly and I said I would sue them for I, I don't even know how much money because I was calculating based off how much my AdSense was increasing by the month. And uh they just apologized, they took away the strikes, and here I am. Here I am to talk about t to you guys about how false flagging is a very real threat to our freedom of speech. We should not be worried about some bastards, you know, slanderizing us and saying that, oh, this post is offensive. So just because it's offensive, we're not entitled to, you know, just saying what we want to say and saying what we need to say. You know, we as human beings have certain rights. And I do not care if it's someone else's property. I do not care if, uh, you know, it's a private institution and they could do whatever they want. I'm, I was born in a country that said certain rights are inalienable no matter wh what your position, no matter what the color of your race, no matter where you come from, no matter your religion, anything. You have these rights no matter what. And we have forgotten that. We have forgotten that over the years because we've allowed ourselves to compromise it constantly. Well, we're in a war right now, so I guess we should subside the rights for the sake of, you know, our security. Or, well, they're prisoners, so they're not technically citizens. They're not really people in the normal sense. They're bad guys. And this and that and the other. And before you know it, now no one's defined as having rights and they and you guys truly believe that you don't believe in rights anymore and that's why you allow this shit to happen to you I'm not going to I believe in my rights and I will fight for them as I said I would w I was willing to put myself in bankruptcy for this I would have sued YouTube and gladly paid a lawyer well I say pay but not really because I have no money I just would have said I would have paid him and then uh, when he asked for his money be like well go ahead and get the imaginary money in from the air and uh, then I would have declared bankruptcy to get out of that debt uh, so you know it, it doesn't matter what happens to me this is about principle and a lot of you don't understand how 
deep my principles are. You can say that I'm a bad person. You can say I'm hateful, that I'm uh, mean, that I'm vindictive, that I'm petty, cruel, maybe even, uh, you know, just malevolent. And I would probably agree with you. And I would take it as a compliment. Because in this world, you cannot afford to be nice and merciful and sweet and kind and gentle. Because they will walk all over you. And the reason why I bash Mr. Rebzion so much is because I believe that what he is advocating is weakening our resolve. That's what it comes down to. I say the things I say about him because I worry that he is sending the false message that we need to be more like that and that's not going to help our situation. It's not going to help our situation to just be nice guys about it. They were already stepping all over us. Imagine all the more so when we're just these spongy little My Little Ponies that, you know, accept it and rely on the idols of friendship and magic. You know why, you know why Komodo dragons don't get fucked with? You know why uh, freaking lions and pythons and everything else? Because they have a defense mechanism. Whatever the, that defense mechanism is. And I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm not telling you that you have to act exactly as I do. But I'm not, I'm saying to you, don't, uh, neuter yourself by getting rid of your defense mechanism. And that's what I worry that guys like Mr. Reb Zion are advocating. And that's why I, cl I, you know, stick my jaws in him like a pit bull and I don't let go. But it has nothing to do with the fact that I somehow just trying to bandwagon on Mr. Reb Zion's fame. It has nothing to do with the fact that I hate Christians or anything like that. Uh, you guys seem to completely ignore the fact that I said that I side with Westboro Baptist Church, but yet, magically, I hate Christians. Uh, you know, you just, you don't understand my moral spectrum because it's beyond this perceived idea of good and evil. It's beyond the concept of good and evil as the elite have allowed us, allowed us to define it as. And, I'm here to tell you that there are other choices. There are other options when it comes to good and evil. It is not simply, I'm not going to say uh, it's not black and white because that has negative connotations I do not want to be associated with. I do not want to say the world is smudges of gray, but what I want to say is blue and orange morality. There is, it's not black and white, it's a multiple colored spectrum. And some of these colors conflict with each other, they are opposed to one another, they are like magnetics, and they just repel one another. But to say that there is simply right and wrong, I wouldn't say that. But there is right and wrong. But it's not just one and two, it's one, two, three, four, five. You get what I'm saying here. Uh, what I'm saying here is that the morality spectrum is far more uh, expansive than simply a two pi spectrum. And I do not think I'm I'm doing a good job in expressing that in my videos. I do not think I'm doing a well enough job in uh, you know, helping you understand that and helping you cope with that and then from there moving on to find your own personal side of that spectrum and live up to it. Because as far as I'm concerned, I know what side of the spectrum I'm opposed to, but you don't, and that's what worries me. What worries me is not so much that you're going to oppose me, but that you're going to defend them, the bad guy, the opposite side of the spectrum as myself. I'm more worried about my enemies getting stronger rather than me getting weaker, because I have nothing to lose. I do not, I'm not nearly as proud and arrogant as people would like to believe that I am. And something else I want to say is that to the Geno 360, um, I'm not going to make a bashing video about you or any of that sort of thing. Uh, obviously, I think you're incorrect. I think that um, you don't know what you're talking about as far as my morality is concerned. Uh, you just are convinced that I'm a bad guy because I'm all these things. And everything you said was absolutely true. That, you know, when I watched your video, I smiled the whole time. Remember how you said, um, along the lines, I'm just making false accusations about you that I cannot back up. They weren't false accusations. They were pretty spot on. And you were making a very good assessment of me. 
The, th the difference is you were very uh, negative about it because you're still thinking like a slave. You're still thinking like part of the two pi spectrum. And when you realize that there is so much more to this moral battle and that there is evil versus evil and good versus good and good and evil are not good and evil in the sense like a Saturday morning cartoon show but more like fear versus courage love versus hate life versus death these sorts of principles the core tenets of our metaphysical existence then you will I don't think you would look at me so negatively I think then you would start to see why I dislike Mr. Rebzion so, and why I say the things I do without any kind of rancor, or any kind of, you know, guilt. You know, it, it has, I'm not a sociopath. I, clearly, if I was, I wouldn't care this much. Uh, it's just that I've understood a deeper level in the human mind, and it's, it's hard to express that without just being outraged that after all these years we're still in this rut we're still in this position and people are still defending their masters controlling every facet of their lives that's ridiculous I do not hate you uh... the Geno 360 in fact I think of you as an ally whether or not you think of me as an ally is completely irrelevant the fact is you believe in freedom of speech you said so yourself that uh, while you may despise everything about me, you even said, I do not say it often, but I hate you, Jim Prophet, and I believe you. I believe in your mind you hate me because you have never met someone so unapologetically hateful, so unapologetically just misanthropic and cynical, and you, uh, you probably do hate that. And you have every right to hate that, and I'm glad you hate that. I'm glad you're exploring that side of you that no one else allowed you to explore. I'm glad I'm opening up your heart to the idea of other emotions than the ones pre-built into you and commanded into you, the only emotions you're allowed to feel. And even then, you're not really allowed to feel them. You're not really allowed to love. You're not really allowed to feel passionate about anything, because if you did, you wouldn't make a good slave. So only enough, only enough positivity to keep you working the dole. That's it. And so I believe that you hate me. But I also believe you when you say that you would never flag me because you believe in my right to say what I want to say. That you hate everything I say, but you will fight for till death for my right to say it. And as far as I'm concerned, that makes you a good person, regardless of everything else. And that's why I told Atheist Gamer 100 that he was a good person, even though all the nasty shit I said about him and probably will say about him in the future, as long as he believes in freedom of speech and the freedom for people to actually become the celestial beings they truly are, and you know opposes moderators, opposes that class hierarchy of someone else dictating the course of your life and dictating the course of your thoughts if you truly believe that is wrong and you will fight with me for that I will call you a good person despite everything else you might you know I, I, I do not understand how um, you can be so upset because to me none of the other shit matters it doesn't matter if I call uh, Atheist Gamer 100 a pedophile or a guy that peed the bed till he was 12. It doesn't matter if I call you an emaciated 14-year-old boy. It doesn't matter if uh, you know I call anybody whatever. That's irrelevant. What's it, what's only relevant here is the fight against moderators, and I truly believe that. So you go ahead and make any kind of judgment judgments about that that you're going to. You go ahead and think about whether or not that makes me a psychopath, or whether or not that makes me a dumbass, or whether or not that makes me this, that, or the other. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. You know, I'm here to fight moderators. That is my purpose in life. That is my purpose to free us from the clutches of mental tyranny. As as people in the modern world with the internet. We should have a lot more than we do. The internet has a lot more pot potential than it's being used for. Right now, I should be able to type in some letters and get a college degree equivalent online. 
all that information should be available to me and I can expose myself to it and learn more than I ever could have at any other time in history. Like I said, it reminded me of when I visit, when I talked to my grandmother when she died and she said that she could just touch a book and she would know it from front to back. And that to me seemed like the next step in human evolution. This idea that information was our just it was just available to us, just handed to us on a silver platter. We didn't have to fight for it. We didn't have to pay for it. We didn't have to struggle for it or defend it. It was just there, and we could touch it, and then it would be ours, and we would learn and grow from it. And then possibilities would be endless, because with endless knowledge at your disposal, you are bound to evolve. Nothing can stop you at that point. And then it's only a matter of time before all the other ailments in the world just kind of fade away. So, knowing that, do you still think I'm a bad person? Do you still think that I'm just full of hate and cynicism when that is my real goal? Whether or not you agree with my methods, whether or not you agree with my attitude, isn't that something worth fighting for? So, I guess that's it for